Breakfast Hall of Science in a few moments, we will have a free of charge live demonstration and explanation of our world famous Tesla coil. Listen for the loud electrical discharge that will sound immediately following this announcement. What he actually wants to do was create a device that would allow people to transmit electrical power from one point to another without using any wires in between. That yeah, sounds pretty crazy. How can you do that? Well, Tesla was actually successful in doing that. And the way the Tesla coil works, it's not transmitting power through those uh, sparks that you see jumping through the air. That's more or less a side effect. What's actually happening is when I turn on the uh, switch here, we have basically a big step up transformer and the current uh, electricity comes from the basement, gets boosted up to about 10,000 volts, and then it goes into the Tesla coil where it gets up to 250,000 volts. Now we start out with ordinary household electricity, which alternates back and forth 60 times in one second. By the time it comes out the top of the Tesla coil, it's alternating at about 120,000 times per second. That makes it in the radio range. The electrons are vibrating fast enough to create radio waves. And that's what's happening. I turn on the button, the radio waves come out of the Tesla coil, go through the glass, they go out in all directions at the speed of light, and when they come by something that will conduct electricity, then that object will have a current due to those radio waves that are coming past it. Now that all sounds kind of complicated, but I can demonstrate what's happening here. Some screws are screwed right into the wood here. Now, wood is an insulator. That means that electricity cannot travel through wood. It just doesn't work. There aren't any wires hooked up to these screws. So, there's no way really for electricity to get to these screws. Now, if there were electricity in these screws, and I brought this key up close enough, the electricity would jump across the key and go through me and ground itself. Because electricity wants to get to a low area of potential. You can see that nothing's happening right now. I'll turn on the Tesla coil. Those radio waves, which as I said go out in all directions, can pass through the wood. When they come by these screws, they will cause an alternating current to flow in the screws. And when the key gets close enough, you will see that spark of electricity then jump across me and then go down into the ground. So I'm going to take a couple of thousand volts for your entertainment. <laughs> Now you might be wondering, okay, it just took a couple thousand volts. How come this guy's still standing? How come I'm not flopping around on the ground like a fish? Well, I'm extremely macho and I've had a lot of practice at this. The real reason, actually I have had a lot of practice at this. And you are extremely and, macho. Yeah. But um, this, I mentioned this electricity is going much faster than what you have at home. The radio waves are vibrating 120,000 times per second and so is the electric current inside the screw that went in, in, into me. When electricity alternates back and forth that fast, there's something called the skin effect. What that means is the electricity can only penetrate a, a very small distance down into anything. Normal electricity would have flowed through the entire key. This electricity only stayed on the outside of the key, and when it came in contact with my body, it stayed on uh, just you know a few molecules deep and went down into the ground. So it didn't go up into my brain, didn't go into the muscles of my arm or into my heart. And, and start, you know, causing problems. I'm not getting paid enough to electrocute myself a couple times a day, believe me. Now, Tesla's original coil, um, according to uh, the stories, was able to light up light bulbs 26 miles away from Colorado Springs where he first tested it. This Tesla coil is not that powerful, but uh, I can sort of demonstrate the same principle we have here. You can see the city of Los Angeles has spared absolutely no expense to bring you this 40 watt fluorescent light bulb. What I'll do is turn on the test coil again. Those radio waves this time as they pass through the bulb will excite the gases inside. The current will flow down my arm into the ground and you'll see the thing light up. And this sign up here that says test coil that's been lighting up is working off the same principle. There isn't any uh, wires going to that sign to feed electricity to it. It's just getting its electricity from those radio waves that are passing through it.
that's about it. It probably told you more than you ever wanted to know about the testing. Well, if you have any questions, if you happen to be a masochist and you want to know even more, please be feel free to ask me. Otherwise, thank you for the standing ovation, and I'll do it one last time.